So you've got a QME report, you don't like it, you don't like the conclusions the QME came to, can you get a new QME? Can you replace that QME that you already had? Uh, there are some exceptions, I'll lay some out, but the general rule is no. You're generally stuck with that QME. Once you go to an exam and the examination goes forward with that QME, that's generally going to be the QME that's reporting in the case. There are a few exceptions, some ways to get around that, but that's the general rule. It's very important to choose the right QME in the first place. But let's say you've already gone to the QME, you got the report and oh, it's horrible. He or she found no whole person impairment, said that you don't ha even need future medical care, noted that you have pain and that you still have problems, you have limited range of motion, but it's just not worth anything. It's a horrible report. What can you do? Well, to replace that QME, you have some limited options. One, you could try to buy a little bit of time. Maybe you'll get lucky. The QME retires or the QME loses his or her license as a QME with the state. In that case, the QME is no longer available under the labor code, and therefore you can get a replacement QME from the medical unit, start the process all over again, that old QME is out. It happens from time to time, QMEs retire, QMEs let their license lapse, QME may have their license revoked by the state of California for some action or misdeed by the QME, but it's pretty rare. So that would be one way. If the QME is no longer available, you can get a new panel. Another way to get the QME out and get a whole new uh, QME, boy, it's tough. You're almost going to have to take the case to trial to show that the QME is biased against you or to show that the QME's report is not substantial medical evidence. It's really an uphill battle. And like I said, it really needs to go to trial. It's tough to get a judge to throw a QME's report out without there being an evidentiary hearing because both parties have a right to be heard, introduce evidence, and it's a tough thing to get that thrown out. So you'd have to go to trial. You would have to show that the QME was somehow biased against you. You would have to prove that. You would have to prove that the QME's report isn't substantial evidence. So it's not based on an accurate history. It doesn't use a correct interpretation of the law. It's on its face, incorrect. It's an uphill battle. And what generally has to happen before a QME report will get thrown out, the judge will want the parties to do additional discovery with that report or with that QME to try to correct any errors. So if the QME is just on his face or on the face of the reporting just wrong, the judge is generally going to want the parties to go back, get a supplemental report, maybe a deposition, maybe a re-exam, try to correct those errors. And if the errors are still there, then maybe a judge will throw out the report and let a new QME come in. That's really an uphill battle. Beyond that, perhaps only the other option I could think of at least at the time of filming this video, would be to try to get an additional QME. If you had a specialty that the first QME addressed his or her specialty, but maybe that doctor can't fully address another part of your case, then you can get an additional panel and maybe that additional panel will see things more your way. But it's not really going to throw out the original QME's reporting. It's just going to provide a new perspective. And it's not going to be another doctor in the same specialty. So theoretically, if you had one doctor, orthopedic surgeon, but you also have neurological issues. If the orthopedic surgeon says he or she cannot address those neurological issues because they are outside the area of expertise of the orthopedic surgeon, then you can go back to the medical unit, get an additional panel, and go to a neurologist in that example to try to get it clarified. The thing is, a lot of the specialties that you go to first, whether it be chiropractic, orthopedic surgeon, even neuro, uh, neurology, PM&R, pain management doctors, they'll address a lot of the common issues that are going on. So in general, what I usually see when there are additional specialties, it's something that's truly different. We have one QME that addresses back, knee, hip, arm complaints. 
you have to get an additional panel to address a cardiological issue. So if there was heart trouble uh, going on, high blood pressure, that type of thing, or if there was dermatological issues, sunspots on the, on the face maybe due to working in the sun all day long, those wouldn't generally be addressed by an orthopedic surgeon. But generally, once you have a QME, you're going to be stuck with that QME. I will also throw in, if you have a QME scheduled, but you haven't seen the QME yet, and you don't have an attorney now, but you hire an attorney before you see the QME, there's a lot of ifs in there, it can be possible to get out of that QME if all of a sudden you find out, ah, oh, the doctor is horrible. Otherwise, you're generally stuck with a QME. I know the answers don't sound good, but this is the system that we have in California. If you're an injured worker, you don't have an attorney and you found this video helpful, hit the like button down below and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss future videos.